certain tasks. Daniel and his protégés refused to subject themselves to Babylonian dogma. They would not eat the doctrine, neither would they envelop themselves with the spirit. These men, the Bible says in 120 of Daniel, became 10 times wiser and 10 times better than the greatest PhDs in the land. And it was this Daniel and his protégés that had interaction with Nebuchadnezzar. The most notable of these is chapter 2 and 3 of Daniel with the raising of that magnificent image. Silver, a gold, silver, brass and iron. And so in the second encounter, God is going to reveal to Nebuchadnezzar that his enterprise is about to collapse. He's going to be hewn down to the ground. And Daniel comes to intervene and gives the man a word, a governmental word of knowledge. Now notice this. Daniel says to Nebuchadnezzar, this matter. In other words, there are other matters. There are other matters that are notably to be discussed. But this matter that we're dealing with is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones. Watchers and holy ones are part of God's angelic order. There are 15 classes of angels specifically spelled out in the scripture. There are of course seraphims and cherubims. There are archangels, ministering spirits, thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, etc. Watchers and holy ones are part of God's angelic order. The watcher and the holy one, these angelic prelates serve in God's court because God is the presiding judge of the heavens. We have a little insight into God's function in eternity and the many worlds that exist out of his prolific heart and mind. We don't see too much of what happens outside of our physical world. But one thing we do know that God presides over universal matters and from time to time will call a council of the heavens and summons or subpoena the players that affect the heavens. You see this in Job chapter number one. There's a hint of this in chapter 18 of the book of Genesis when God says, I cannot hide this thing from Abraham because Abraham was elevated to a council member concerning legal issues in his domain. And so a watcher and a holy one then are courtiers in God's heaven so that when God sits as the supreme court justice in the heavens and rules on a matter, the holy ones and the watchers enforce God's decree. Now watch what happens. The devil is a belligerent so and so. What he does as a prosecutor he will accuse you before the judge. He will say that Tudor Bismarck in his family line has violated sovereign law. They have contravened kingdom law. They have submitted themselves to the kingdoms of this world. Therefore, I am filing papers again to grant a continuance for demonic debts to be paid. And because we do not have an advocate we do not have a lawyer to legally represent us. We find ourselves, even as believers, paying demonic debts that we have no explanation for. We are good people. We are honest people. We pay our tithes. And yet every time we try to get a breakthrough, here comes that seasonal demonic marauding force to claim from us what we have worked so hard for. That's why you need an intercessor. An intercessor, a real intercessor, is not somebody that is extravagant in verbosity. By that I mean has a lot of words in a prayer room or voluminous and loud. That is culture. And it's important to be black and Pentecostal and manifest those cultures. But what we have to have we have to have intercessors that are skilled, that have a way in which they enter into the court of heaven. When the prosecuting attorney accuses me, 
my intercessor says, I am Tudor Bismarck's defending lawyer. I am filing counter papers. Yes, there's been innocent blood that's been shed, but the Bible says we are made perfect by the blood of his cross. Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. And so we need intercessors. That's why for me, the best person in my life is Chi Chi. Because she, she's not able to sing, she's not a singer, and, and many other things that she's unable to do because she's human. But there's one thing that she can do as an intercessor when she goes into the court of heaven, able to cancel demonic desires cancel demonic debt change the trajectory of a demonic assignment on your life tell somebody you have to pray for me baby if you if there's one thing you can do pray for me satan has desired to have me and sift me as wheat but i pray to you that your faith fail not i'm praying that god would send you a lawyer an intercessor who understands how the heavens work to cancel demonic assignments devil i want my money and i want it now ah, yeah, 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 yeah. feel the power of the holy ghost coming to break chains on your life the anointings of god has shatter yokes all over your spirit i will be what God has called me to be. I will go where God has called me to go. I need about 300 people to give the Lord a praise. Say yes. Peck, put your hands together. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. And so the Bible says, this matter is by the word of the watchers and the decree by the words of the holy ones. In other words, God will rule on your behalf and say, Tudor and Chi Chi, we take, we rule on your behalf. You will no longer be in poverty. You are now prosperous. But the devil will try to enforce what was reversed against us. So a watcher and a holy one will come as enforcers of God's law. So when the devil comes in, the holy one will say, it has been decreed that this family be blessed. And the watcher will watch demonic activity and say, no, 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 no. Maybe at the house next door, but not at this house. Because God has rules that in the kingdom of man he'll give it to whomsoever he wills and raises up uh, the most unlikely person i came to tell somebody at worry tonight god's about to rule on your behalf and dispatch an angel a watcher and a holy one to say enough is enough and that the power of the Holy Ghost is about to be activated in your life I declare that by the power of God angels are moving through the room and anointing you to do what you couldn't do angels are about to anoint you and give you what's legally yours i know you've been fighting and struggling and trying to get a breakthrough but this matter is by the word of the watcher and the decree by the word of the holy ones it's breakthrough time it's breakthrough time the heavens are about to open over your life doors are about to open in your life opportunities 
are about to come in your life. I feel like preaching here. Something is about to happen. You got to open your mouth and prophesy. This is my day. This is my moment. This is my opportunity. God is on my side. What can the devil do to me? I feel the power coming to your life. The yoke is broken. This matter is by the word of the watchers, by the decree of the holy ones. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost coming on your life. I feel the kingdom of men coming to sit on your life. Give him a praise. I need to preach for two more minutes. I, I need to preach for two more minutes. Tell someone God rules in the kingdom of man and gives it to whomsoever he wills. You'd better be nice to me because God's about to promote me. In the kingdom of men, God raises up the most unlikely people. That's why you must be nice to the person sitting next to you. Because tonight when we go to bed, tomorrow morning, God could have lifted them up. God could have taken them, put a billion naira in their hand. You'd better be nice to the person sitting next to you. I heard the word say that God rules in the kingdom of men. Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? The operative word is not good thing. The operative word is not even Nazareth. The operative word is come out because there are many good things in a place. But can it come out? The question is, can it come out? Nazareth has locked you in, but God is about to raise up the most unlikely person. I know in you uh, there are books and CDs and movies and businesses. There are good things in you, but the question is, can it come out? It's got to come out. The first one to come out is the most difficult the first book is the most difficult the first tv program is the most difficult the first company is the most difficult but when the first one comes out here comes jesus then comes simeon then comes james then comes jude because if you can come out of nazareth we taking someone E flat tell someone I'm coming out and you coming with me I'm being elevated and you elevated with me I'll be a millionaire you'll be a millionaire with me I live in that house and you live next door you shall drive and drive with me I feel the power God rules in the kingdom of man and lifts up man from the most unlikely place put your hands on your head say lift me lord say lift me lord lift me up say lift me lord say pick me up e, you can trust me lord you can trust me say you can trust me trust me with money Trust me with anointing. Trust me with buildings. Trust me with people. 
Say you can trust me. I know in your life God's about to trust you. The power of God is coming on your life. Good man.